So what is going on guys, NandoPrince93 here with another video, and if you guys have been following the channel, you know that I like to go over a bunch of new widgets as they come out. We looked at widgets like Weatherline, Usage, and a bunch of other ones that have kind of just gotten better over time, especially with iPadOS and iOS 14, which allowed widgets to kind of change up and become more an integral part of your operating system, right? So what I want to talk to you guys about is a new widget application called Flex Widget which pretty much does everything that I've seen other widget makers do and other even applications that turn their applications into widgets do. This has got to be the most customizable application for widgets at least that I've seen to date. So let's check it out together. I'm going to show you guys exactly you know, how far you can take this flex widget application, but let's get into it. So guys, let's jump right into this video and show you guys exactly what Flex Widget is. So if you guys can see these three different widgets, I have them in the large, medium, and small sizes, you can see that they're all totally different, right? This one is showing me not only the time, the day of the week, it's showing me the weather, both high and low, where I am, and also a calendar view of what date it is, right? And that's all on the same widget, as opposed to going on here, which is the weather widget, you know, and then you have a calendar widget and those are all kind of different widgets that you're going to have to place all throughout your either home screen on your iPhone or home screen on your iPad, right? And then you have another one right here. So this is a weather dedicated widget from Flex Widget. And then you even have a random one right here, which is just a countdown widget that I created through Flex Widget, which lets me know Christmas is only six days away. But I want to show you guys exactly how to create this and show you the actual application itself. So this is Flex Widget right here. Let's open this up. As you guys can see, it's beautifully animated. It looks really, really nice. And then you can see right here that these are the widgets that I've created, right? And like I said, I have a large one, a medium one, and a small one. And the medium one was actually one that was created by default already that you can download from their inspiration page. So you can see that this is the inspiration page. So these are preloaded widgets that were already created by the creator and the developer. And little by little, it's going to be added on this. So apparently on release date, which should be on the day that you guys are watching this, there's going to be over 60 widgets, customized widgets that are just able to just plug and play if you guys enjoy those, right? But that's where I got the medium sized widget. But I want to show you guys exactly just how customizable this thing is. So let's create an actual widget, right? So let's go into the create tab right here. Let's create a large one. I like going with the large one. Let's go with the white theme right here because it's nice and blank and really nice to use. And this is what you're greeted with, right? So you have the widget itself over here. And then to the right, you have all the different customizations that you could add to this widget. So I want to create you know, a weather widget again, right? Because that's just, you know, I like kind of creating weather widgets. So I go over here, click on a weather icon, and then this pops up. What's beautiful is that you can resize this and you guys can see that I'm using the mouse. And if I move the mouse, I can use my finger as well. And it's very, very easy to move around. And you can see how responsive it is, right? So let's move this over here. So this gives us the weather icon, right? And you can do the weather icon style down here, change it up. If you want to be more minimal, filled in, or if you want some color added to it, you can add different weights. So you can go with ultralight, thin, light, so you can go extra bold. I'm gonna go with ultra light, right? Really, really thin, really minimal. And let's X out of that. And then you got some padding over here that you can add as well, just to add a little more realism to it. And then if I keep going, you can add the weather text. So what's beautiful about this is that it pulls data in real time. But as you guys can see, the actual white background is too white, but I wanna keep the lettering white. So let's go over here to the top right, go to the actual background. Let's click on this, and then let's change it to, to black. So it's a little more, visible to the eye, right? And you can see that the whole actual UI of the application changed to a kind of dark mode. So if I go into red, you see that everything changes to red. If I go to blue, everything kind of changes purpley blue. So if I go to black again, the entire UI slowly changes to black. So it's just little things like that that I really enjoy. So we change that up. Let's X out of here. Let's go back to our weather actual text. So you can do Celsius or Fahrenheit. You can hide the actual unit itself. You can go with different temperatures. So this one's an actual exact temperature of what's going on right now. I can go with a rounded one. Weather situation is text, max and min, wind direction, wind speed, the temperature that it feels like. So the, you know, the options are pretty much endless here. So I like to do a maximum and min. Let's open that up a little bit. And what we can do is I'm gonna actually make this a little bit smaller, move this over. And again, I'm using my finger for everything and you can use a mouse as well. So let's click on this one, make it even a tiny bit smaller. So it gives us not only the weather in terms of temperature, but it also gives us exactly what's going on. So expect some showers and some rain, right? And then if I want to, again, you, this is an entire canvas that you can play with. So if I want to add some digital time over here, like I said, make it really big so I know exactly what time it is at all times. You can change military or regular hours. You can change the font. 
So again, the customization with these widgets is, like I said, endless. And then the next thing I wanna do is maybe add a date, right? So we say that it's Friday, move this over here. And then I also wanna add my calendar down here, really open this up. And then voila, you have a totally custom widget that gives you the temperature, the date, the time. And again, you can add as much as you want. So if I wanna get rid of this, just trash it. If I wanna add my health chart data, move this down here. So this is one of the coolest things, right? So if I wanna move this over, really open it up, it gives me my heart rate. So you can go with any measurement. So if you use Health Kit, if you use an Apple Watch, you can go with any measurement that you want down here. You can change the time interval, month, you can change the style of the actual graph. You can do line graph, bar graph, you can change the colors of the graph, you can show the different axes of the graph. So it's, it's really nice in terms of what we can play with over here. But again, let's get rid of this one. So click on it, we'll trash that one. And we can also add whatever we want. We can add it. So we can even add days of the week over here. So again, the possibilities are endless for the type of widget that you want to create, which I really like. And then all you wanna do when you're done is if, for instance, let's just add one emoji down here, just to kind of fill everything in. And as you guys can see, it helps you kind of align everything correctly. So it's all symmetrical if you want it to be or not. And then, so I'm all done with this widget. All I have to do is press export. It's all done, it's named large widget two. So I get out of here. Let's hold this down, edit this widget. We'll change it up to add large widget two instead. And there you go. This is the widget that I just created, you know, updating in real time, pulling information from the weather, from the calendar. It's just an amazing thing to see. And I'm, and I'm very, very impressed with how this application turned out. And again, you just go back in here, you go back, and you can see that it's under my widgets now and you can easily decide which ones you want to do you can also delete some if you want just by pressing the edit on the top left they wiggle just like it would on a home screen if you do want to delete them again you can create any sizes and you can even create default themes so if you want to create a default theme you just go into here which basically allows you to set up a square or a widget square exactly how you like it before you start putting actual content on the widget itself and then like i said you have the inspiration tab right here so and there's big news right here. I know that they're doing an iPhone 12 giveaway on Nikki's channel. So definitely go over there to sign up for that one. And then subscribe to this one because we're going to do an iPhone 12 giveaway in a few weeks. So definitely subscribe if you guys want to get a chance to actually win that one. And then again, you just have the about section. But all in all, this widget is all about customization and the endless possibilities, right? And like I said, you can share inspiration. You can share your widgets. You can exchange widget ideas with other people and in this inspiration section it should be a lot more populated and as time goes on it'll populate even more so so that's going to do it for the actual overview of the widget let's go back to the normal view so as you guys saw flex widget is just that it's a very flexible adaptable application that allows you to create widgets of any size right you have the small one the medium the large one and it allows you to put a bunch of information that you know otherwise you wouldn't get or you would have to go and get different applications for all this information right it allows you to pull in weather it allows you to pull in your calendar dates time clock health kit data it gives you a lot of features and tools to play with in order to really customize your widgets and your home screen how you want right and like i said this is going to be a little bit better probably for your iphone because you can customize and put widgets all over your iphone screen but it's still going to be amazing for your ipad ipad pro whatever the case may be because again, you can put it on your home screen right there as well. And I really like that. So I'm gonna keep playing with it, keep creating it. I do think maybe at one point there'll be a nice little marketplace because you're gonna be able to share all your different widgets that you created and widgets that you wanna share with your friends and things like that. So I highly recommend it and for two bucks. It's really hard to, you know, not dive into it guys. And there's just so much customization. So, you know, the sky's the limit to what you can create on there guys. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna leave it linked below if you guys wanna try it out. Also check out channel sponsor Paperlike if you guys want to protect your iPad. That's also going to be linked down below. Huge shout out to them. They're always, always hooking me up and making sure that the channel is up and running, guys. But that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.